Hey guys, it's Darcy and today I'm doing this cut crease look for you guys. actually did this look yesterday for work and I posted it on my Instagram and you guys really liked it so I decided to do a tutorial on it. In fact, I accidentally posted a photo of it. I'm not joking. I accidentally posted a photo of it and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to leave it up. So if you guys like this look, don't forget to give my video a big thumbs up so I know to make more videos like this and subscribe to my channel because I make two videos a week and you don't want to miss that. Let's get started. I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit, not like all the way, like I don't, I don't need you to see it all. I don't need you to see it all of this. So the first thing I'm going to do is my eyebrows. Um, I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Dip Brow in Ebony like I always do. That's what I always use for my eyebrows guys. It never ever changes. And I'm taking the number 14 brush by Anastasia and I'm using that to apply the dip brow. I like to just like brush my hairs out first. And then to clean up my brows, I am using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toffee. And I am just, literally, I'm just going to slap it. I'm going to just like, slap it. Um, because I'm also going to be using this to prime my lids. So, I'm just going to slap it on there, guys. Like, literally. And then I'm going to blend this out with my Damp Beauty Blender. It's my favorite one. I love the nude ones. They're so cute. Then I'm going to take this fluffy Sigma brush, this is the F03 brush, and I'm going to be using this to um, put my powder on. We're just going to dust a little bit of powder onto the concealer because we don't want it to crease, we just want it to stay in place. So I'm just setting it. Okay, so now that our concealer is all set, our eyes are ready for some eyeshadow. I'm going to start with Coco Bear from Makeup Geek, and I'm going to be using that as my transition shade. And I'm just sweeping it right above my crease because I want this look to be higher than my crease. So I'm just going right above the crease, starting in the middle, and then I'm going to work my way out. And because of the style that I'm doing today, I'm going to take um, my all of my colors all the way out here. Next, I'm going into my Modern Renaissance palette, and I'm taking this white-ish color here called Tempura. And I'm going to be using that to just quickly highlight my brow bone. Then I'm going to take my Sweet Peach palette. Sorry guys, I'm using like a million different eyeshadow palettes right now, but um, it really doesn't matter what palette you use, it's all about just the color scheme. Um, so I'm going to be using Summer Yum, which is this orangey kind of brown shade, and I'm going to just be going over my crease with that just to deepen up the crease a little bit. And I'm just going slightly lower than my transition color. To blend this out more, I'm taking my Sigma E40 brush and I'm using that to blend everything out. Now I'm going to go back into the Modern Renaissance palette and use this color here called Cypress Umber, which I've hit pan on. And I'm taking my Sigma E36 to apply that. Okay, so now that we've got the base eyeshadows done, um, I'm going to be taking the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Toffee again, and I'm going to be using that to cut the crease. So I'm just going to take a small flat brush like this, and I'm going to coat it in 
the concealer. And you're just gonna shape out whatever shape that you want. Today I'm gonna extend it all the way out here, but um, you can do a round shape, you can do whatever you want. So once you got the shape that you want, um, you're going to take your beauty blender and then just blend it in a little bit just to get the excess off. I did had no idea about this step before and I would just like slap on my powder and everything would be chunky and gross. So you definitely don't want to skip this step. So then I'm going to apply a little bit of powder on top of that and voila! We have our base for the cut crease. Yes! Halfway there, guys. So I'm going to take my Sigma E36 again with um, Cypress Umber, and I'm going to go over the line a little bit just so that it's like super emphasized. I'm just going to spray this damp brush with some Fix Plus. And then I'm going to take Shimmer Shimmer from Makeup Geek and I'm going to apply that onto the lid. Okay, now moving on to the glitter. I'm going to be using my Duo Lash Glue to apply it because I want a very fine line. And this is the one with like the little brush applicator. So I can really get in there. And then I'm going to be using this like golden bronze glitter from Itte Cosmetics. And I'm going to be using that for my glitter liner. Honestly, like, who even am I right now? Like, am I the baddest bitch in the land right now? Like, I am. The glitter is everything. Like, I'm, cr I'm crying a little bit. I'm crying. Okay, now moving on to liner. I'm taking my favorite liner of all time, the Stila Stay All Day Liner. If you don't have this liner, get you this liner, girl. Get it. Get it. And remember, it's better to do a small wing and then make it bigger than to make a huge wing and then it's too big and then you're like... Now I'm going to take my favorite lashes from Huda Beauty. These are the Jade Lashes. They're perfect for cut creases because they don't cover up the cut crease. They're not like huge, enormous, fluffy lashes. They're just very sleek and subtle. I'm taking the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara and I'm going to be using that to blend my real lashes and my fake lashes together. And squeeze! And then I'm going to go over the eyeliner again. Always go over your eyeliner again once you put on your lashes. Okay, so now that we are finished the eyes for now, I'm going to move on to the skin. I'm going to be priming my skin with my Frisali Rose Gold Elixir that I am obsessed with. If you guys know, if you follow me on Instagram, like, I have a problem. <laughs> My skin needs some hydration. So now I'm going to take my NARS All Day Luminous and I'm going to apply that onto my skin. I'm just going to pump it straight onto the Beauty Blender. Next, I'm going to be using my Born This Way Concealer in Deep Tan and I'm going to be using that to highlight my face. And then I'm taking my Stila Contour Duo and I'm taking the dark side here and I'm going to be using that to contour. I'm going 
gonna go over that with some powder just to prevent creasing. And now for the bottom lash line. I'm gonna be taking Summer Yum. I'll start with that. And then I'm gonna move on to Cypress Umber. But we're gonna start with Summer Yum and just sweep that underneath the eye. And we're almost done guys, yay! For highlighter, I'm gonna be using my trusty Anastasia Sun Dipped Glow Kit. I always use this and I always mix these two, Summer and Bronze. And then for lipstick, I think I'm going to go with Cafe Au Chic by MAC. First, obviously, I'm going to line my lips with my MAC Chestnut Liner. And then always blend it together with your fingers. Then I'm going to take my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray and set my face, and then we're done. Ah. Okay, and that is it for this look, guys. I'm not going to lie. It's a super hard look to do, and I had to practice, and I had to put in the work, and there was blood, and sweat, and tears. <laughs> If you liked this look, let me know if you recreate it. Definitely tag me on Instagram. And if you're not following me on Instagram, better go follow me. <laughs> Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. But don't forget to like this one if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to my channel because I make two videos a week. And you don't want to miss that. Anyways, guys, I will see you in the next video.